Well, good morning, church family. I hope you're all doing well and not going too crazy, staying at home. And uh, we sure miss all of you, and we can't wait until we get to meet again back here at church. Um, but I just want to share a few things with you this morning, and so uh, let's go ahead and open up in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come before you right now, and we thank you for this day that you've given us, Father. We thank you for allowing us to wake up, Lord, and we just thank you for your word, Lord, that we can uh, just look to and learn from and, and lean on, Father. So, Lord, we lift this day up to you, we lift this time up to you, and we love you, we praise you, and it's in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so this morning I just want to talk to you a little bit about, um, during these times, how we can be thankful. Um, if you'll turn with me, please, to the book of Psalms, we're going to look at Psalm 100. Okay, so Psalm 100 says, Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is good. It is he who has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. So in my studies, I found that this psalm is one of what's called the royal psalms. And the other ones are Psalm 93 and then 95 to 100. But they all emphasize God's sovereign rule, his goodness to his people, the responsibility of all nations to acknowledge him, and the importance of God's people exalting and worshiping him. And I think that's what we should be doing, especially now. In these hectic times we're going through, it's so easy to fall into the anxiousness and the fear about what's happening. I mean, who would have thought that getting a roll of toilet paper would feel like hitting the jackpot? <laughs> All joking aside, though, something I thought of was if we stop and think about it, the entire world is on hold right now. It's just paused. There's no distractions other than, of course, this virus that's happening but I see a lot of good coming from it. We get so caught up in the busyness of life, whether it be work or the crazy schedules we try to keep with our kids' sports activities, school activities, and all the other stuff that tends to keep us away from the most important things in our life, our family and our time with our awesome, amazing God. Until now, when was the last time that you were actually able to just stop and spend time with your family? When was the last time you were able to sit around the table and have a family dinner or play card games or board games? When was the last time you had the option to sit at home, be in God's Word, and listen to worship music longer than just on your way to and from work? Now with the current situation, with not being able to gather at church and the kids going to their um, individual Sunday school classes, now we can sit together as a family, we can worship together and be in God's word together. So instead of falling into what the rest of the world is doing, being scared and anxious about what's going on, let's go to him with a thankful heart. He is allowing us to catch up on all the time that we have missed out on with both our family and with him. Let's make the best of what's happening and let's take advantage of this time and grow together as a family and in him. Go to him with a joyful singing, enter his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise, be thankful to him and bless his name. Be that light to those around you and show that we can be thankful even in times as such as this. I really like how Warren Wiersbe says it. A thankful spirit is a triumphal spirit. It's been a pleasure to be able to share with you guys this morning, and I hope you guys 
take this through the rest of your day and just ponder on it and think about how you can be thankful in times like this. Hope to see you guys all soon. Let's go ahead and close in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, again, we just come to you with thankful hearts, Father, that um, you have given us this time, Lord, as, as hard as they may seem, Father, we are thankful that we get to grow closer to you, grow, grow closer to our families, Lord, and, and um, we just lift this time that you've given us up to you, Father. So we just ask that you watch over us as we go about the rest of our day, Lord, and we just lift it up to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.